Okay, so here's what we did to the uh, 2100 CD. So, uh, cleaned it up. We're good. I don't have the clutch cover on here because the first thing that I'm going to do once I get it to fire up is I'm going to be, and you know, of course, idling and everything, I'm going to be looking to make sure that it's got uh, oil. It's getting all, uh, oil for the chain. I can't get the, um, uh, the manual oiler to work. I mean, missing some seals or something like that. I haven't really fully gone into it, but here we go. We're going to see if it fires up. Um, I fully expect this to be a super pain because this thing's got compression for days. My gosh. Let's just see what we got here. Hopefully, I don't throw my shoulder out. Ah, see? Let's just get some gas in there. This is just ain't no joke, man. I ain't never pulled anything like this. Now I've got a 3120. Kane's custom garage, you know that he does it like this on jobs where you have to hold the throttle. straight up running out of steam. Oh my God. Oh, fuck you. Damn, it's got compression. air filter back on 
Got my little screwdriver. See if we can't turn it a little bit. Not, not much. I just want it to idle a little bit lower so that that clutch disengages. tending to for sure and I learned my lesson on stuff like that with my Poland 5200 definitely a saw worth tending to and whenever I got it piston was scored a little bit and I just couldn't help but fire it up whenever I fired it up it ran good this is after I rebuilt it and put a new piston and rings in it and stuff like that. Well, the second time I ran it, developed an air leak, scored the piston. Not real bad, mind you. No problem. I'll be able to clean it up. But I should have put new crank seals on it. So this one right here I wasn't going to make that mistake with. Got new crank seals both sides right out the gate didn't even try and start it new crank seals both sides got new uh, intake gaskets all the way through and got a carburetor rebuild and a new fuel line so now this thing's ready to go and I'm gonna go throw a bar on it and we're gonna put it in some big oak <laughs> If I didn't mention it already, it is oiling good, so we're solid. Well, here we are. Let's see what she's got. Now, this is the exact same chain. That the last time you saw it was on the uh, Johnson Red 2171, and the rakers are a little bit too low. All right, it's still sharp, it's still good, and everything, you know, but the rakers are a little bit too low, and the 2171 didn't like that. My guess is this one's not even going to notice. We'll see. Got to be uh, going to be a little bit of tuning, probably, you know, but uh, we'll see what it'll do.
waking up a giant. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Damn, that thing's powerful. A little bit hot there, but. Wow. That's something else. I have read, I have ran I think it's a little bit lean. It's gotta be, geez, what happened? Oh my God, I leaned it out just a touch and it started doing that, oh my God. So, let's talk some turkey here, all right? I have ran 372s, X-Torque, and old school, I have ran Domar 7900. I have ran uh, the Poland 5200. I have ran, we're talking big stuff here. A Chinese knockoff um, 660, steel 660. I have ran Randy's 066. I've ran a home light, what was it, 550? I think it's 85 cc's, something like that. So that's probably a 550. Um, I've ran McCalla 700s. I've ran a 3120 XP. Nothing has felt like that. Holy shit, that thing woke up. Um, I'm going to fatten up the high side just a hair because I think it's a little bit too lean. I can't quite get the balance right. Whenever I got this saw, it was running uh, not even three quarters on the high side and one and a quarter on the low side. And the throttle, the actual um, uh, idle screw, was pushed way in. So I didn't have a good base baseline to start from. Um, definitely don't want it to get too hot. That's a nice pristine still cylinder. If I haven't shown you the picture yet, I'll show you now. It is a thin ring 
set up. And I want to keep it stock like that. So here we go. I'm going to fatten up the high side just a little bit. Just a little bit. And turn the idle in just a hair. Let's see if she cranks back up. Holy Friolis, that thing's got some beans. That's a real muscle fall. <laughs> I am super impressed with that. And uh, I look forward to seeing how it'll do in a whack off with a proper chain. Cause that right there, I mean, you can still feel it. I can feel it. That chain is angry. That chain is way too aggressive. And boy, it's uh, uh, pulling me into the tree. Um, yeah, the, uh, the the 3120 has as much power as that, but I think doesn't have as much RPM. Then again, it could be all sound that's just fooling me, because it does that, guys, it, to the best of us. You hear something that sounds good, and you think, oh, yeah, that thing's fast as We all do it. Um, but, yeah, I'm impressed. And now that uh, the gas is pumped up and you know it's firing off good it's not that big of a deal that it's hard to start I mean you you can't be a sis and, and start this you, you just can't do it <laughs> Cool.